tadi Dia rasa I've been really excited To be able to be here to share about him I met him when we were in SEC 1 uh, Because we were in the same class Until SEC 3, we kind of lost contact As we went into different class Until 2009, end of the year um, we were, like almost every day we will be playing a video game at night. <laughs> and through Skype, we were chatting like almost every other day. So our friendship kind of got back on track thanks to the game. Uh. How I invited him was rather random. We were sitting at a cafe, you know, waiting to buy some tickets to a concert. And I just started asking him if he wanted to come to church. He told me he was interested. He asked many questions, some of which I couldn't really answer. So I invited him to church. He became really curious about everything and he did lots of research on his own at home, which was really surprising to me. And the materials he found made him decide to study the Bible not too long after. Studying the Bible and watching The Passion of the Christ made him think a lot about Christianity. However, during the study, he came to a point sorry, where confessing his sins was a struggle for him. But he overcame his struggle after getting advices and challenges. It took quite a while, but still he emerged victorious. And now here is he, here he is when we baptize. I'm really grateful for the chance God had given to me to bring Jason to know God. I'm really proud of my friend who had made the decision to make Jesus the law of his life. Welcome to the kingdom. Good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Jason and it's my privilege to be able to share for my good friend Jason. Eugene and I knew Jason through Arthur by playing computer games every night. <laughs> <laughs> the first time we ever saw him personally was during a volleyball bundle club at GP when Arthur invited him and his other friends. And yeah, we still weren't exactly friends with him yet. <laughs> but slowly while being on Skype call when playing Dota every night, <laughs> we, we started to crack jokes and chatter. And it's how interesting, and it's interesting how Jason began to be interested to come to church. I once asked him what makes him want to come to church, and he answered that beside the, beside the friendships in church, he needed something to believe in. I was convicted when I saw his curiosity to seek after the truth and God. He likes, he he did some research about God and stuff. And I remember how he read the 17 pages of research Arthur and I did for Timothy class. And the first few Bible studies weren't much of a challenge for him due to his eagerness. But slowly every challenge gets tougher. Arthur and I was like paranoid over how he felt. Especially after seeing the repentance study. Worrying that he might not he might be scared to come church and etc. But I'm glad he overcame all these obstacles. I grew closer to Jason these few months by hanging out, playing computer games, chatting on Skype till 7 a.m., stayovers and stuff. Well, right now, <laughs> he's really a dear brother to me, which I am grateful that God has placed in my life. And I'm sure that we will have lots of fun together, being there for each other when we face challenges. And a few days back, when I cracked a joke on a saying a certain thing that might tell me not to follow in the future, he said this thing, having God is enough. I was kind of stunned, and I told him not to forget that he said this line. And I really hope he don't. So, yeah, that's all for my sharing. Alright, so, Jason, I have two questions for you, alright? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he went to the cross and uh, died for you, was buried, and three days later, risen? So, good. Spirit, okay, two things will happen to you, your sins will be forgiven, and you receive the gift of Holy Spirit. 